cleaning out my closet. It's kind of Kim Mathers cleaning out her closet here on the Mojo in the Morning Show here at Channel 955. Uh, Kim's on with us this morning, and she's also going to be on the Dr. Keith Abloh show later today. Let me ask uh, uh, Kim this question. Uh, go back to Marshall's mom. How, how did she treat you when you guys would have conversations with each other? Uh, mm, I don't, we didn't really have conversations. She was she had her days. She some days she was nice, some days she was crazy. So it all depended on the day. Uh. What was it that was so that bad? That sounds like most mother in laws. <laughs> what was it? What was it that was so bad that it made uh, you know Marshall want to leave the house when he was living Earth when he was a teenager and he would run away and, and stay at your place or walk around the neighborhood? What was she doing that was so bad? Like she would just stomp through the house. I mean, she weighed like ninety pounds, soaking wet, and but she would stomp so hard through the house and throw her hairbrush and just scream all kinds of. And somebody thinks she constantly thought people were stealing from her. She was I don't know. She was paranoid and. She, she she had a problem with prescription drugs, too. So she was always very, you know, her moods would go from one extreme to the next. She was just very hard to live with her. She was crazy. I mean, she would just scream, throw things at him, accuse him of stealing. I mean, it's no wonder why you say that he was the way he was to you because of this crazy woman. I mean, a man's relationship with their mother directly affects their relationship with most women. Do you remember yeah. from when you were using um, things that were told from you after you recovered, did you ever act any way like his mom? Uh, the, the big part of when I was using, me and Marshall weren't together. Like, I, I left. So I wasn't with him. And um, my drug of choice isn't, wasn't prescription drugs. So the the way they affect people are, are you know, are completely different. So for people that didn't follow all the news stories, what kind of problems did you have with drugs? Um, I had a cocaine uh, addiction and alcohol addiction. How scared were you when you got pulled over by the police and they found you know, drugs in your in your Escalade at the time? I was crapping my pants. I was, I was very scared. But, you know, at the same time, I guess I was relieved. Did you think it was over for you? Did you think you were going to jail and you were going to lose your daughter? And Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought, I thought all kinds of things. I remember reporting. I remember reporting that. I remember listeners calling us up that saw you on the, on the side of the road. And I remember that all going on. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, man, it is over. Yeah. I mean, you really, Thank God that's over with. And, and I will say this, and I'll test to this, because we have seen Kim um, in, in recent times. She has pulled herself together. Mm -hmm. She really has pulled herself together. I mean, for my wife, who's had conversations with you, to say, you know, I, I had such a bad perception of her until I had a conversation with her. Oh, uh, well, that's nice. Thanks. I think it meant a lot to us that your first big night out was when you came to our singles party. I picked Clutch <laughs> Cargos that. and, like... Oh. Of all the things that you could do and all the people yeah. that you know, I mean, it really meant a lot to us that you came out with us. I got to ask you, Kim, how, how would Marshall feel about you dating if you got into a real, if you got into a relationship right now and it was a high profile relationship, how would Marshall feel about that? Uh, I don't, I don't think he'd care. I would never date anybody famous again. Are you asking her to date Mojo? No, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm just wondering because I often wonder, you know, if, if it would bother him. Because of I, I believe he has you a guys, jealous tone. I mean, I believe you guys are soulmates. No, oh. I know that that sounds weird, but I, I yes, that's why I think, that's why I think you guys are going to be back together. Okay, well, <laughs> you'll be the first to know. I promise. Everybody, you, you me hit, Mojo will not give up on that. Yeah. I yeah. believe it's him. You what, want me to hit is, Mojo over the head with the butt of a gun? Maybe just yes. knock some sense. <laughs> in Kim, this is your life. To Mojo, it's like a ten dollar bet. Right, he, he wants to win <laughs> right. the bet. <laughs> what is it that makes you so sure that it's over this time, so you can convince Mojo for the love of God? I just, um, like, we, that's why I never spoke up about him before, is because I always felt something for him. If I had talked to him, if I had looked at him, if I was around him, I just felt it. And now, just, I vomit in my mouth whenever I'm around him, or I hear his name, or anything. I just, there's nothing, there's nothing left in me for him. Nothing. Yeah, my, my wife vomits in her mouth when she thinks of me, too, but <laughs> <laughs> we're still together. But, Kim, what's the one thing that would surprise us about being married to Eminem? Um, sex was bad. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, stop there. Let's let's elaborate Wait, a little on, bit. On, why on. why was it bad? Oh, women want to know. There are women oh, all over. Damn. Everybody, no, everybody that's listening wants to have sex with Eminem. Why was it bad? No, get out of well, here. He's not very well endowed. And if you're going to have sex with Marshall, make sure you have a little blue pill because otherwise it does not work. Holy crap! Wow. Is that because of the drugs or what's the deal? I hey, hey, hey. Oh, Kim. <laughs> what? I don't know why they're You, you realize that you're a parent with this guy. You realize that you still have a kid with him. You shouldn't be saying You this. just took his microphone away. No, he said crap about her for years. Kim. 
What? You realize? <laughs> you realize the, the all the guys in the studio Kim, are red, like the, they couldn't believe uh, it. Yeah. I'm just trying to think what rhymes with hung like an elevator button. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out. When, by, by the way, <laughs> I'm writing a verse. <laughs> If next thing I know, Marshall's doing a rap song and my wife is helping him with that rap song, I'm going to know that he's going to get revenge on us for something there. I was expecting, uh, like, he's a bad kisser, <laughs> something like that. Kim, you went for everything. Kim, you, you know You're that. right. She but does he, not want to get back together but with you Marshall. Know what, Kim, the How are you convinced, is, Mojo? It, it's crazy because it's like everybody sensationalizes Eminem and we make him this bigger-than-life person. And it's crazy when you actually talk to people like... Who who hung out with him? Like you know what I'm saying? We used to he's when just you talk a guy. to people, he's just a regular person, and everybody yeah, really makes is. his penis be larger than life. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for real, like when you talk to people out, outside of Michigan that are like Eminem fans, they'd be like, "Oh my god, I think his penis is as big as Eight Mile." Yeah. You know, like <laughs> they think that Eminem is just I, that I, large, I and he's just I, a regular. His penis is saying. the border of the city. What were you saying? Aggravating. It's very aggravating the way that people I just they don't know him they don't live with him you don't have to deal with his craziness oh I've witnessed it when I'm out with they, they just worship him and they love him and I I've been constantly hearing praise and then you know he's always talking about I do this and I do that well, I wish he would do something and help me out a little bit every now and then mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying more than give me money I've witnessed it when I'm out with Kim and, and when we're not out with Kim like say I'm just out with friends and she texts me and stuff like people have just immediately want to attack her because they've already yeah Accepted him because he's the famous celebrity rapper. And because but you listen to somebody's albums, it does not mean you know that person. Yeah, I agree one hundred percent. Let me do this then. Uh, I want to end on this note because I want to try to get away from that whole thing. Yeah, I want to end on. on I want to end on. Mojo's ha- afraid he's going to be next. I, I want to end on <laughs> Haley, and I want to end on the kids. Uh huh. Okay, how is this good for the kids for you coming on the radio with us today? How's it good for the kids? Because yeah. we know they're big fans of our show, and they're not listening, are they? Their friends no, listen. No, they're, they're they're here with me. They're in the other room doing their hair and eating McDonald's. Okay. They'll probably hear about it, though. Yeah, and you know they've heard about his song, so yeah. I finally got to say something to defend myself once. I mean, they already see. I mean, how things are around the house. I mean, they already know how their how their dad has been acting. That's it's no surprise to them that he hasn't been around or what? been helping out. Was a lot, Mockingbird so. a bunch of bull? Is what was was Mockingbird a bunch of bull? Him, him being uh, all sensitive. That was last one. When I'm gone and... Okay, I mean, I, I listen to him and I'm just like, okay, what... I, I, those songs like that and then people hear him and praise him. It just... Uh, that It bothers me because, it, no, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that in the real world here where we live, so... Mm-hmm. I would never do... The song. I would never do this to Haley, but if I were to ask Haley this question, Haley, describe your dad. How would she describe her dad? Um, Talented? I don't know. Do we say challenging? No, talented. talented. Talent? talented. Oh, talented. How how would she describe how he's been acting lately? Weird. She probably doesn't get the full yeah gist of what's what going on. Every, right? every single day. Why is dad acting so weird? Well, when you're it's, it's dad. It's not Eminem. I mean, it's they have a totally different perspective on the situation, and they obviously they've seen a, a change in personality. Correct? Yep. Yep. A hundred percent. They ask me every single day. Well, what, we've, why is he acting so weird? That's what they say. Right. We've asked Marshall to come on the show many times. He's not. He doesn't talk, and you know, even when he's got an album to promote, he hardly talks. So, if he wanted, he's always welcome to. If song. he wants to come on, but Cam, uh, I wish you well, and I I will watch today at one o'clock because I'm I'm finding it interesting. I, I'm interested now that you you weren't even in in the studio with Dr. Keith Ablo at the time. Yeah, I know. I heard it. you say the doctor was supposed to help. I'm thinking I didn't even see the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should, Should we review interesting? all the things that we learned this morning? Uh. <laughs> Should be an interesting edit job. The hack job they're going to do on that show today. I'll be interested yeah, to see how they put together. I wouldn't watch it. Well, I mean, this we've followed this relationship for years upon years, and it's been a mess, but no one can be inside the house to realize how much you two truly loved each other, but it seems like now it, it just sounds like it may be damaged beyond repair. And, it sure uh, is, and we are moving forward, and me and the kids are very happy, and we're doing great, and they, we just wish Marshall would be a little more involved with them. That's it. But other than that, everything is going very well. If there's one thing that you can tell everybody in Michigan and everybody that's always had a bad opinion about you, about the real Kim, what would you want them to know? Just that, you know what, I made a lot of mistakes, and I am sorry, but I've learned from them. I will never be that person again, and people do grow, you know? So You were kids when he finally got that deal. Yeah. Kim, uh, good to have you on. Uh, please uh, know that we are praying for the kids, and we hope that the relationship with uh, you and, and Marshall and everybody is civil. 
Thank you very much. All right, take care of yourself. Keep your head up, girl. All right. All right, bye-bye. Kim Mathers on the Mojo in the Morning Show here at Channel 955 telling all about her relationship with Eminem.